Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is C Thief here. Um, and welcome to my video. Uh, I'm going to be detailing a uh, build that I've been leveling for the past few days. Um, longer than that, but few days of game time. Uh, level 64 now. And the primary goal of this build was to make one that can uh, a melee build particularly a melee ranger however it can ultimately work on marauder ranger or duelist uh, I just prefer ranger because of the starting nodes um, but as I was saying to make a ranger that can tank stuff uh, has a moderate amount of tankiness uh, and a moderate amount of damage so I mean what more can you ask for in this game come on um, so <sighs> instead of going with a ranged build or a two-handed build or a caster build I decided I want to do something that you actually don't see that often um, funnily enough it's kind of like uh, pretty common in most games but a sword and a shield um, generally people won't sacrifice uh, all that damage because in Path of Exile you actually gimp yourself severely by not having two weapons or a two-handed weapon. Um, so the shield adds a lot of survivability but it also reduces your damage significantly and there's a couple ways you can overcome that. Uh, it's still going to be a pretty low damage build but in my opinion especially in this game you always want to be low on the lookout for more damage or more defense. Um, so I'll give you guys a quick rundown of the passive skill tree. Uh, it's not going to be fast. This guide's mainly going to be for relatively advanced players so they can glance at it and understand the route I took. So, um, this is the starting. Uh, I went north, or I guess this is east, but um, attack speed, accuracy, melee damage, etc. I picked up these nodes instead of the evasion nodes because you're going to get enough evasion uh, using iron reflexes and, you know, high evasion gear that, you know, in my opinion, these are good, but uh, you you need some damage, come on. Um, this node right here is actually not necessary, as well as this one, for my build currently because I use Resolute Technique. Eventually I'm gonna switch away from Resolute Technique once I get some more accuracy, but right now, you know, you can't really play with 85% accuracy. Um, so, came down, uh, got Shield Wall, went over, got Thick Skin, you know, pretty normal start for a ranger, honestly. Um, I picked up this little fencing node right here because 24% 24, 24%, that's, you know, pretty significant now that they buffed all these nodes. Um, came over, uh, came up here and got these also pretty significant uh, physical damage nodes as well as the armor. I chose this node, or this cluster of armor nodes instead of this one because it gives you overall 10% more, I believe, or 2% more, sorry. And Master of the Arena is always good. And got uh, this nifty little shield um, block chance and defenses. So I've gotten three of those so far. And that ends up, you know, bolstering your defenses a lot, especially if you're using a high defense shield, high armor shield. Um, this build also uses blood magic, and I like that more because um, I'm using life gain on hit, which applies your leech instantly. And with multi strike, and double strike, and maybe even eventually faster attacks, I don't know, you're going to be getting a lot of health back really fast. Blood magic, you know, I think that's very useful, almost mandatory. Uh, unless you're going to be using. Val Pact and even higher life leech um, and uh, obviously a lot of mana leech because when you're running like a five, four, five, six link with multi strike you know you're getting some high mana cost fortunately double strike doesn't have a high a very high mana cost base but you know um, eventually I'm gonna like I said respect these points right here uh, I'm you know on my way to get sort of the standard uh, line of nodes that you get when you go into the Marauder Tree. And uh, that's basically it. Um, in terms of links, uh, right now I'm just using four links, but um, Double Strike, 
multi strike, pipe gain on hit, melee splash. Keep in mind, guys, my gear sucks. This is Anarchy League, so I don't really have a big boon yet. Uh, but um, these are just the basics. You want a high physical damage sword. Uh, actually, if you plan on sticking with Resolute Technique, you're going to be better off getting a fast, high physical damage axe because you don't need global crit or accuracy that you get with swords. Um, those intrinsic properties are useless with Resolute Technique. However, if you're going to go, like I said, eventually respec out of that, those are pretty good. Um, I use Mejinor's Girdle uh, for obvious reasons. Obviously, if you get a really nice belt um, with high resist and everything, you're going to want to choose that over Mejinor's, but this is a really good leveling belt. And in game, if you think about that 10 to 20 physical damage, you know, that's pretty good. And Shinobox Pillar Ebony Tower Shield. Not necessary at all. The only reason I'm using this right now is because of high fire resist, very nice armor roll, um, and uh, that extra physical damage converted to fire damage works really well with Lava Lash um, and Anger. So, uh, and, and Feeble is always nice. And that's pretty much it. I mean, everything else is um, basic. High life, um, high resist, attack speed where you can get it, and so on and so forth. Um, uh, let's make a new instance. Um, sorry for the uh, sort of impromptu put together of this build. Not very p professional, but... <laughs> um, so I'm only using two auras right now. Anger and Grace. Grace is mandatory. Anger is really good. <laughs> um, that's all I gotta say about that. Uh, anger scales with Lava Lash and Chernobyl's Pillar pretty well. Um, so you play this build like uh, some other, I guess, popular melee builds. Basically, just run in and wail on stuff. Um, that melee splash really scales well with Double Strike because you're attacking so fast. Um, and you see my health drop and you see how fast it goes back up. As long as you've got two or three mobs, it does the exact same thing, regardless of how hard they're hitting. I've got a low health pool right now, um, just because my gear sucks, uh, honestly. Um, and eventually with the Marauder life nodes and whatnot, you know, you can push four or five K health with this if you have really good gear. Um, so I haven't done any maps or anything yet. Um, but eventually, I, of course, I will once I get, uh, you know, 68, 70. Um, and, you know, that's the basics of it. Let's see if I can get a uh, pretty big pack here. There's some physical reflect. You're not going to, you know, you're, you're getting life gain immediately back because it's life gain on hit, not leech. So um, you don't really have to worry about killing yourself with reflect. Um and multi-strike is really really useful in this um, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want multi-strike on a build that, of this nature uh, it auto targets for you uh, it zips around and with melee splash that's really helpful because you're not gonna target each one individually um, so it's just overall probably the core of this build that and double strike are the two ones you really really need um, Eventually, with a six link, uh, maybe eventually faster attacks, added fire damage, melee physical damage, I'm not sure. Um, those are just things that I'll have to get to and report on eventually, but it's a pretty basic build. There's nothing really complicated about it. Um, you want to get most, all just with any build really, uh, most of your defense from passives, most of your offense from your links, and uh, most of your, um, further supplement your defense with good gear. Um, and that's pretty much it you guys uh, I'll probably make some more videos eventually um, going into further detail but uh, I guess I'm running out of time because I haven't made any YouTube videos so I'm pretty sure the limit's pretty low but um, if you got any questions let me know and uh, I'll get back to you so thanks